This past year, from August 8th to August 12th, Parks Canada's world-renowned underwater archaeology team, including Mark Andre, along with Inuit, explored the Franklin wrecks, first at HMS Terror and then HMS Erebus. This season, this remarkable uh, crew completed 93 dives on HMS Erebus, spending approximately 110 hours underwater, resulting in the discovery of over 350 artifacts from HMS Erebus. Among the artifacts recovered were a pair of officers' epaulets, ceramic dishes, and a number of items believed to belong to Edmund Hoare, the captain's steward. These are just a few of the fascinating examples of personalized artifacts that give us a glimpse into the lives of the individuals who made up the crew of the Franklin Expedition. Mr. Louis Kamukok interviewed and recorded our elders, um, and he, he collected significant contact of the way in which our, our people were first contacted with the outside world and uh, eth ethnography and explorers and everything that's written down about our people. We also have the oral history from our elders that passed on that generational knowledge. So it is our Inuit that have played the eyes and the ears in this rich and significant find and helped to guide the, the research and the findings of the 168-year-old mystery of the location of these vessels. The ties with the ships, the stories, and the lands are still strong today as we continue negotiating the Inuit Impact Benefit Agreement with Parks Canada. We will contribute to collaborate with the Franklin Interim Advisory Committee and the community of Joe Haven to help protect the unique National Historic Site and share his stories with Nunavut Mute, Canadians, and the world. 